Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and in this wonderful and exciting discussion, we're trying to explore this new model from Meta AI from Facebook called Code Llama, right? So Code Llama is a state of the art LLM, which is specifically for coding, which is very useful in case you are a developer. And the idea is that they took the normal Llama model and then they further fine tune it for Python and then for coding right so this is the article that you can check it and read it right but let's explore it so publicity ai has this particular platform lab.publicity.ai and they have the model as an interview that we can actually check it out which is very cool so if you come back here you can change it so we have the previous one so llamas 2.7b 13b and 70b but there is code llama here that you can also check. And this is the highest one, right? 34B, which is the most powerful and more with the higher score for the human level. Okay, so let's check it out. So let's try this one out. So let's give it a simple prompt. So yeah, let's do a simple one to reverse a string in Python, right? So we are just telling it to write a, a function to reverse a string and which is simple this is something simple and this is accurate and it's good it gives you the code and then it also gives you an instruction which is quite cool i can also try the same thing with any of the models so let's try it with 13b and then let's see if it will do the same thing so i'll just write the same function right the same question and let's see the difference right you see what <laughs> You can see the difference between the one provided by Code Llama, which is very precise and very simple. And then see the one provided by Llama itself, right? So it just gives, uh, creates an empty string first, and then it loops through it, and then it's appended, which is the same, but this is more Pythonic, right? This is more Pythonic. So that means that this is a very good model. Let's try on some other model. So I'm just going to switch to Code Llama and then we can check it out. So I'll go to pythonprinciples.com and there are some online free ones there. I solved this one with Code Llama. Please don't do this. <laughs> okay, so let's check it out. I'm just going to go back here, middle letter, and this is to write a function named this that takes a string as a parameter. Your function should extract and retain them so what i'll do is i'll just copy the entire stuff together with the example and let's paste it here right this is so let's check and see and that's given us this particular function yeah and let's see if if you paste it there and check and see if it's going to work so i'll copy this one here and i'll go back and paste it inside my challenge moment of truth i have to format it well and then it's supposed to be formatted well. Else return this, right? Okay, let's try to see. Let's run the code. Okay, it gives us an error. So a uh, string indices must be integers. So our function failed. <laughs> so our code failed. Yeah, so let's try it again. Let me write it in a different format. So give us the same right and let me see if it can work on this so i'll just copy the entire stuff see this is exactly the same thing we do when you're in google so let's see okay so i just pasted the arrow and now it's given us this which is quite formatted well i'll copy this one and i'll paste it here and then let's try it and see if it work let's Run the code. Yay, we got it correct, right? So it's not that bad, it's very good, right? The model is promising. We can also try some other questions. Let's try another one. So I'll go back again. And I've passed this online status, let's see. So the aim of this challenge is, is giving a dictionary of people online to count the number of people who are online. For example, consider the following dictionary. So our task is to count the number of people. So in this case, the number of people 
online is two. So write a function named online count that takes one parameter. The parameter is additional that maps them. So let's copy this. So write a function. Right. Let's paste it and see if we will get some better result. Okay. Uh, can you format it well? So let's see. Okay, now it has formatted it well. It understood it. Now let's copy and then let's paste and see. Without checking, let's see if it's going to give us a good result. Let's run the code. Hey, we also got it correct. So this is quite promising, right? So it's not just for Python, right? The model is not just for Python. You can also try other languages. So let's try one from JavaScript. And this is on nucleotide count. So I'm giving a single stranded string. DNA compute how many times each nucleotide occurs in a string. So I just copy this one from here and then we will check it, right? So, and I'll say in JavaScript, in, we don't want to get into Python. So let's see if it will understand and give us in JavaScript. And then we will compare this that we have Oh, so it's giving us two, right? So let's see if it's able to give us, because since we are counting how many times each nuclear die occurs, we are supposed to loop through them, right? So this is the function. And then I'll go back to here. And then these are some of the results. And it seems almost similar, right? Almost similar. So this is a very nice promising model that you can actually use and try it out. In case you want to have it locally to work, you can go to, it's not available on GPT for all yet, but you can go to huggingface.com and then you can have it already there. So it's available on Hugging Face. So if I come back here and then I check for, yeah, I'm sure I'm going to get it. Mm, we have, code yeah it's already available right so you see that we have here so this is the one that is very there is a fine tune for python the one for instruct and then the 13b so you can just pick any of them right very cool so that is some very nice promising stuff from llama so llama is very promising so thank you for watching and don't forget to check out the publicity is a very nice platform and they have given this one out of the box that you can check and as you can see it gives us a, a number of tokens and then a time right very cool so thank you for watching see you another time stay blessed let me see what happens and once it's available we'll try and see how to use it from gpt for all thank you see you